I think if I was a child now, I would have been picked up, but back in <laughs> the 80s, um, autism or Asperger's, which is what my diagnosis would have been um, previously, it wasn't known, it wasn't actually a, a thing. Um, Asperger's or Asperger's wasn't a diagnosis until the early 90s. Um, so I kind of slipped through as a, a naughty um, rebel child that people couldn't understand um, why I did the things I did. Um, and spent a lot of years in, in mental health services as a client and just got shuffled around lots of lots of other diagnoses. Um, so it wasn't until you know a few years ago when I realized that ah oh, this is actually something that works and fits my profile. <laughs> my, my son calls it a reverse midlife crisis and it really was for me. It wasn't like oh, who am I, who am I, it was like oh and that's who I am and everything made sense and um, I guess for me the best thing about it was understanding some of the reasons why I felt different to everyone because I felt like a, a dud <laughs> as, a, as a human, as a mother as, um, and it, it helped me make sense of the world and it's actually helped me to, helps me navigate my world now so it's made life a lot easier. And the internet's amazing for autistic people because sometimes the social stuff's not, not easy. So being able to connect with other people like me has been uh, one of the most amazing things. Like I, I really thought that my journey in life was my own and only mine and that I didn't do so well at it. Um, but now I understand that other people like me have struggled like me and, and now we can sort of connect together. So it's like having your own community and all of a sudden, which is just a beautiful thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm not as talented as these people in the room. I do use writing, um, which has definitely helped. When, um, when I was diagnosed, I kind of had to go right back through my life and reframe it. And it was uh, empowering, but it was also a little bit horrifying at some, some stages, going, why didn't anyone help me or know that? Um, but that's okay now, I, that's, that's just part of the process. But writing for me, and I know a lot of the artists find that drawing and painting really helps them to get some of those emotions out into a place that's, that's, um, that's good for processing and yeah. I thought it would be a wonderful way to, to sort of present autism to the wider community um, in a way that uh, shows people's personalities and individuality and, and is also really fun and um, yeah we had a, a range of amazing artists that wanted to be a part of it so it's been really cool watching them um, join us and be part of their journey. We've also had workshops on the weekends which have been really cool as well so giving, giving a space for people to talk openly about autism because that doesn't always happen um, so and that, that's what this is about really it's about demystifying um, it's about um, artists being able to be proud of what they're doing and have their work in the community. It's been really positive so far and I have a feeling this is the start of something pretty cool.